Aaron, Dan, we know the Salinas Valley has a name for itself as the salad bowl of the world. Well, this past year we've seen a lot of investment in a different kind of crop, wheat. And a business owner I spoke to today said his sales have increased by about 40% this year, but it hasn't been without its challenges. Experts say the conditions on the Central Coast are just right for cultivating cannabis. Because we have such a great temperate climate here, we are capable of producing better cannabis than anywhere else in the world. The existing agricultural infrastructure set the stage for a new epicenter of the weed world. Monterey County has more than 300 active licenses for cultivation, putting it right up there with the top pot producers. While many are eager to cash in on the tax revenue, growers say they aren't exactly rolling in dough. So what we've seen is a lot of medicinal patients who were in the medicinal market before the beginning of the year when recreational came in, they've stopped coming to dispensaries because the taxes have jacked the prices so high and there's such an abundance of inexpensive cannabis in the black market that they've gone back to the black market because that's what they can afford. Some growers say they are losing money in an uphill battle to meet strict regulations and are struggling just to keep the lights on, while others have licenses going unused. They believe lowering the tax rates would allow them to become the cannabis capital of California. We are, we are begging for some relief here, and if it doesn't come soon, um, we could see empty greenhouses in the Salinas Valley again. The Monterey County Board of Supervisors is taking a look at the cannabis tax rates and considering what kind of changes can be made. Aaron, Dan. All right, All right Bianca, thank thanks, you. Bianca. Despite the challenges, Monterey County does expect to bring in about $7.5 million in cannabis tax revenue this fiscal year.